Hi there, this is Clovis. This video is about Physics Painter 2.0 and we're going to talk about brush options. In the previous video we've added some assets into the colliders list and into the assets list. So now we can go into the brush option tabs and start to paint. So let's press the paint asset button which is the main one you're going to use. So here when I press it, it starts the paint brush and if I left click and drag over my colliders, it will add assets on top of their surfaces. And if I release my left click mouse button, it will start to play the physics simulation. Okay. And if I left click and drag again, it will stop the simulation and add more assets. Okay, when I release the mouse, it starts the simulation again. I can left click and drag to stop the simulation and start painting again. And it adds more assets. So if I want to quit the tool, I can press right click. Okay, so let's delete these objects. <clears throat> you see that when I pressed this um, paint asset button. It turns everything to gray and all the new painted assets are green. Um, this is uh, because of uh, these options. So if I quit the tool, you see that uh, this is the static color, so you can change it. This is the green. Uh, this green color is for the simulated objects. And you can choose to not display these colors by unchecking this checkbox. So uh, we can paint directly with uh, the materials. But sometimes using um, these colors is uh, very useful. For example, if I add more assets like that, okay, each time I paint again more assets, it stops the simulation of previous assets, which means that uh, the previous simulation may not be finished so some assets might be flying or not looking um, like like they are uh, physically correctly placed. So I can I will just quit the tool and show you, for example, here those assets are just flying. Okay, uh, which can be cool, but it's not what I want in this case. So I will turn this on and go back to my brush and if I press uh, the control key and left click and drag you see that the assets under the mouse are turned green which means that they will be simulated when I release the left uh, the left click button so I release and now they are simulated okay this one is not because it's <laughs> there are some more assets here hanging like that okay so i release the mouse and they are simulated okay fine now if i press the alt key and left click and drag it will delete the objects under the um, the, the brush okay so again this uh, might end up with some flying assets like that okay so i can con press control key left click and drag and re-simulate the flying assets i release the mouse and boom they are simulated okay so when we are into uh, the paint uh, the paint brush mode you see that in this new version i can go into the UI and change things here, which I couldn't do in the previous version. Okay, so now you can even go into 3ds Max UI and change things without uh, quitting the the brush, which is uh, which is super useful to change some parameters here. Okay, so let's now delete these assets. Now let's talk about the distance value. So I'm going to uh, check all these options off, okay? 
and start to paint again. So you see that by default the distance value 1 is made to um, um, try to not overlap uh, too much the assets. Okay, so this distance is not based on scene units or, or objects uh, units or, or anything. It's just based on the object size. So bigger assets uh, like this box uh, will have a bigger gap. Small assets like this uh, this glass will have smaller gap, etc. Well, so it means that. Um, it doesn't matter uh, which scene size you're using, or which, you, which units, or which asset size, this distance value um, is always going to work. So 1 is the default, whatever uh, units you're using. So if now I change this value, if I increase the distance, for example, you see that the separation is going to be bigger. And if I put it to 0, okay, they are overlapping a lot. Okay, so I can change this distance value here, but I can also press uh, Shift and Control key and left click and drag to change it. Okay, and you see that the value uh, on top of the, the brush circle here is the distance value. Okay, so you do not have to go back to this UI to change the distance value. Okay, cool.